Well, this, this is York Minster, and we are in York, in North Yorkshire, United Kingdom. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, and ringing the bell. Special thank you to all those who've subscribed. And if you're going to subscribe, you're going to end up causing an old man to be, what shall I say, quite happy. Right. We'll continue along the path. We're heading towards the sun now. So we've got a bit of contre-jour, but there we go. What does this one say? Restored, huh? They restored this bit of the wall in 1890-something. That's good, isn't it? A restored wall. When there is such a beautiful wall, it's important to make it restored. Here we go, still further along the wall. Oh. He's watering his flowers. Actually, I think he's watering the strawberries. I just love that view across there. Right, I just had a chat with a guest here who's singing in the choral evensong tonight, which was interesting. He's from Michigan and he's come over as a guest chorister, so that's nice. I can see my lady wife right down here. She probably thinks I've been chatting to somebody. That could be because I've been chatting to somebody. Dear, dear, dear. Well, you know me, don't you? I love a chat. Chatting with strangers, yes, a guy all the way from Michigan, come over for a week in order to uh, sing in choral evensong. Look at those, all fenced in. You don't want your roses getting out, do you? Yes, I know it's the fence round the wall. Imagine living next to a wall and looking out the window and all you can see is a wall. No wonder they've got um, glazed wind, um, Cross frosted glazing in their windows. Oh, this has all been nicely uh, pointed up, hasn't it? Look at this beautiful bit of pointed brickwork. Although they're quite old bricks by the look of them, very historic. That's never the original mortar, surely. Although I must admit, from the nature of it, it looks like it might be. Well, mortar doesn't last. Oh, look at this mortar doesn't last like this now. I wonder if this way runs around the other side. I don't know. Okay, let's have a look and see. Oh, it's a one way down, are you? Off we go, down off the wall. Are you going down here? Well, I don't need to wait, darling. You have the handle and you can take your time and wait at the bottom. Right, and we come into the sun. Goodness knows where we are. We're going to find the next way up onto the wall now. We have a little stop there. The wife emerges from there. Richard the Third experience in City Walls. Right, we now go across to the next part. Interesting, interesting pots. Interesting pots in here. Look at those. Some very nice pots. I love them, but I wouldn't want one. 
if I got her one and it was worth a lot, I'd flog it. Just come on the wall and the railing is both sides. Yes. Yeah, yeah. you got the wall and then there's the railing. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> there you go, darling. Up you go. Back on top of the wall again, having climbed up here. And now off we go around the wall again. Now these must be arrow slits, mustn't they? They're all right, yeah. Oh, it's another police car or ambulance or fire engine making a din. Yeah, this is quite differently built here. All different size slabs. Further back, it was just uh, blocks. There's an old half timbered building over there. A oh, whole awesome. Look at that down there. I think that must be uh, barracks or something. Of course, you can um, you can look at that uh, by stopping the video. All right. Big house with bay windows. That's that lovely half timber job. So people walk in the wall today. Oh, I must admit, this does look rather similar, rather similar, rather similar. So we'll call it a day shortly and say thank you for watching. And uh, this is the Rambling Rambler in York, in the United Kingdom. That's Dave to his friends. Lovely views from this wall, but uh, bye for now.